I don't think he's... Yeah, there we go. Two damage, and it doesn't apply to his armor. So I think the same would happen with poison or acid. Uh, stuff like that. Why do you keep running around this area here? Camp Chrysalid. Uh, I want to see something. Can we dominate him? Oh, we can. I say we do it. Let's Don't dominate the let guy. I want to see what kind of Chrysalid moves we can do. Not only that, but I, I just want to see, uh, you know, what else is around here. He can be my scout. For a turn. Uh, let's start uh, moving people up here. here. Is, he, is it just him? Oh, you see another one. What are you doing up there? <laughs> Get down from there, you mutt. Deflection. I'm running low on ammo. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so our sniper should see that, no? Apparently not. Dun, 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 dun. Not a problem. Let's see if we can pistol. Chrysalid. Yeah, try and kill him. Yeah, you weren't. Yeah, you dodged it anyway. I skirted him. Yeah, little bugger. Uh, I'll take a shot again, I guess. Get down from there. <laughs> By the numbers. Okay, so obviously what we need is over here. That's that looks like some freaky stuff right there. Uh, sure, let's move you up. Why not? Uh, yep, move you out. over here. Put you on Overwatch. Move radio up here. I don't want to move too much up. Uh, but we'll move up some. I guess that'll be okay. Dun, 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 dun. Go ahead and reload. Reload, my friend. Because there's probably going to be a lot of stuff around here. Yep, Chris. Oh my. Whoa, chrysalids. Okay, we're gonna have our chrysalid fight those chrysalids. Dead in that arm. You shot through the wood, but you did it. Do, 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 do. Hey, Black Widow. Dun, dun, dun. All right, let's move our chrysalid over here. What kind of attacks do we have? Chrysalid slash melee attack that can poison the target or burrow. Burrow underground, becoming undetectable to normal sight. You will automatically emerge uh, an attack if an enemy gets too close. Okay, good to know. Do it to narrow. I say we burrow. Let's do it. Dun, 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 dun. I probably should have moved him though, to be honest. Yeah, I think that would have been the best choice was to would would have been to move him over here and then burrow. But I failed to do so. It's alright. I'm assuming if we dominate an alien, he's just under our control for the rest of the way. I don't think there's turns involved, is there? <clears throat> that would be kind of lame if... Because Dominate is like one of the top abilities for a psionic uh, soldier. That would kind of suck if... Um, we don't really need cover from these things. What's they're not, they're not shooting us with weapons. I mean, I could shoot him, but shoot this guy instead. 
Man, what is the dodge? The dodge is real. I kind of want to plasma grenade them, but at the same time, I don't want fire on the field. It kind of kills the FPS. And plus, this area looks nice. Even though there's chrysalids all over the place, this area looks pretty nice. We haven't really seen an area like this uh, oh, yeah. in the in the campaign so far. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, good. I kind of want him to get close so we can trigger the burrow effect. Doctor Strange, how nice of you to join us. Absolutely. Maybe up. Dun, 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 dun. You know what? I am not gonna do anything this turn. Uh, ain't even gonna overwatch. Because I want this chrysalid to freaking burrow. Aw, oh, crap. Don't kill it. Good. He's right there. Yeah, get him. Yeah, get him. <laughs> Fight, my chrysalid. Hey, that's not fair. He's fighting two on one. But we gotta get a kill as our chrysalid friend here. Awesome. That was amazing. We're green to go. I love being able to control aliens. It's pretty fun. Dun, 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 dun. Shoot that guy. All right, good. Well, I definitely got that one. Did. Uh, I still should be a little bit weary. Weary? Wary uh, of getting like right up next to that chrysalid just in case uh, the power ends. What is this? I'm not sure what we were expecting to find out here, but this definitely is. not the same rift the Codex used when it appeared. This thing could lead anywhere. It may not even be pointing at Earth. As with most things, we'll likely need to. It goes to the dark dimension. I know it does. So this is probably the first time that you actually come across a gatekeeper, probably. Uh, like, in terms of the story, this is probably the first time you encounter that. Ooh, why is that so... Well, it's because he's, he's got a... He's in a shell, or whatever. I'll take a shot. If we miss, we miss. It's fine. Target's still up! Ding, ding, ding. Uh, I guess that'll here. be okay. Do, 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 do. Right in the eyeball. That armor's tough. All right, it might be a good idea to start tossing grenades, uh, so we can start uh, removing some of that armor a little bit. Or we can just keep shooting. Nah, we gotta get rid of that armor, man. That armor's got to go. Gonna start a fire, but that's alright. Soul fire. Yes. Doctor Strange versus the Gatekeeper. Seven psionic damage. Alright, does he go for the chrysalid? Please stop destroying trees. Oh no, he's gonna raise the dead, isn't he?
I set myself up for that, didn't I? Holy crap. That was the first time I've seen that ability. Uh, well, he exposed himself, so now he's dead. Uh, <laughs> hopefully they're not injured for that long. Before we do anything, let's go ahead and restoration. Because... I don't know if, you know, healing up your troops in battle will make it so they're not injured for a long period of time or not, but I definitely don't want to get hit by that thing again. That was an insane attack. Holy crap. And we dropped uh, some frames there, just like we always do. Bears get the shot on it. <laughs> well, that was enough to hit. Toss me some ammo. All right, let's uh, let's reload and then move up. Neutralize all hostile agents defending the psionic gate. I'm on it. The gate to the dark dimension. Wait, who's around here? Why why is the music playing? On my way. Dun, dun, dun. I kinda wanna go through there. Overwatch. Dun, dun, dun. Let's not do that. Heading out. Got it covered. Got a burrow here. Don't run away, come this way. There you go. Barrel. Oh, you can't see him? You can see him, though. All right, what we'll do is we'll just overwatch here. There's really not a good amount of cover. Uh, I guess Doctor Strange can take him down. Enough to kill him. A dark doorway, achievement unlocked. What is this? Status confirmed. All hostile contacts in the AO have been eliminated. The gateway is secure. I don't get to go up to the gateway? Commander, we've secured the psionic gateway, and recovery teams are en route to the site. Now it's up to Tigan and Shen to figure out what this thing does. Secure the psionic gate. Completed. Um, turns taken, 11. Killed 19 enemies. All of my, my soldiers got wounded. Let's see how badly they're, they're out. I would have liked to been able to go up to that gate, you know. Most under fire, Chris Lid. <laughs> well, when we started the stream today, it was 77 in here, or 73, now it's 77. So it's gone up four degrees with two lights on. How badly do you think they're injured? 
How many days will they be out? Wow. Eight, two, seven, two, five, six. So basically my main squad is out that many days. Holy crap. Jerry Bean has been on 28 missions and he's gotten 80 kills. What a, what a beast, man. The distinctive alien artifact we recovered from the field resembles a portal or gateway of some kind. Although we believe it provides the aliens with a means of long distance travel, potentially beyond the confines of our world itself, it will take time before we can truly understand the gateway's function. Definitely gonna research that. Um, that's a pretty good one. Uh, get plus two HP. That's pretty good too. Gatekeeper shell. I think we've already we've already researched that. I think. Apparently not. All right, so maybe we do that first what then. Your team witnessed in the field, Commander. It is clear this psionic gateway provides the aliens with some means of far-off travel. It will be up to you to determine not only how it functions, but exactly where this gateway leads. To the final boss. That's probably where it leads, right? 225 supplies. Um, Avatar goes down by two. Awesome. New objective Stuff. added. Okay. In order to analyze the alien psionic gateway we recovered, we will need to make the appropriate modifications to the oh, shadow I already, chamber first. Oh, I already did. Commander. I already did, fam. Uh, oh, okay, he can't, he can't uh, no, train because he's injured. Let's do this. Um, potentially ri rivaling that of the elders themselves in terms of psionic power. Uh, maybe possible to reverse engineer its biomechanical components to use for our own equipment. Yes. This specimen, hence I want to see what this is. As the gatekeeper seems to harbor considerable psionic power. As with the alien's other unique biomechanical field unit, it will take some time to decipher the systems involved in its function. It's just a giant brain in there, pretty much. I don't know what that's going to tell us. was something of a brute when it came to handling the interrogation and autopsy of alien subjects. From what I've heard, she was keen to get her hands dirty whenever possible. Do 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 do. All right, so we got that UFO still hanging around here. Last thing I need is for that thing to come get me. Your team has done an excellent job in the recovery of this alien artifact, Commander. I believe with further research, it may prove invaluable in uncovering the truth. Fire when ready. I'd kind of like to be able to get out of here, but I don't know if he's going to see me or not. Um, so, when all my people heal, we'll probably do the alien nest. Which has 24 new enemies and a viper. Um, this is a DLC mission. Uh, we already did the other one, which was Shen's last gift. Uh, I, so I'm looking forward to doing that one. Uh, but I kind of want to get over here and get to this intel. And get away from this stupid UFO. The last thing I need is a, the UFO to, to catch me right now because I have a lot of people injured. So I think we're gonna we're gonna try and bail here. Really hope we don't get in a fight. Avenger plotting new course. Stop it. Okay, good. Whew. So we'll sit here until the supply drop. So we'll have to go and get that. Skizm. Skizm. Stasis shield. Uh, stasis can be cast on allies, running them immune to any attacks and stunned for one turn. That's pretty good if you need to save someone. Uh, an enemy is carrying an explosive, you can blow it up. and eh, it's probably not going to be that much damage, but that could be fun. 
What do you think? Stasis shield or fuse? I could, like I said, I could see stasis shield being uh, pretty valuable in certain situations. Uh, like if someone's going to get attacked and we don't want them to and we want to save them, that's pretty good. Um, views could be funny to see just like, you know, an explosive just blow up on an alien. Um, but the thing is, is like, we're so deep into this campaign, like, how often are aliens going to carry, you know, like, grenades and stuff? I think we'll probably take, um... I think let's take stasis shield. I think that'll help us out more than uh, explosives. But, you know, if we blow explosives up, that could potentially get rid of some armor uh, without us having to, you know, deal with that. I think this is huge, though. Like, stasis shield is, like, too good to pass up on. Immune to attacks. Like, that's so good. Alright. Wait till we get this supply drop here. Get some people back. Oh, no! It's a mission? Oh, why do you gotta do that to me right before... Why do you gotta do that to me right before we, we get supplies? I mean, that's... The rewards are pretty good. A lot of supplies and intel. Operation Night God. Um, Codex, Advent, Gatekeeper, Buton. Okay. Uh, but how? For Brazil. How much of our squad do we have available? Only two recovered from the wounds. Uh, wow, this is gonna be interesting. It's gonna be an interesting uh, squad here. Da, 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 da. Um, yeah, we're gonna do this without, like, our main people, pretty much. We do have Livermento and Doctor Strange, so I think we're fine. Uh, do you have another Psy Operative, a Ranger, a Grenadier, and a Sharpshooter? So I think we're probably good. Uh, let's put a Mimic on somebody. Probably you. Let's put that on. Put a mimic. Let's put a other battle scanner on you. You know what? I think we're gonna name this person. We're gonna name Mackenzie after Black Widow. Black Widow, you can you're gonna you're getting a grenadier. Uh, your name is probably better suited for a sniper, but we we'll, we already have two, and I don't plan on getting more snipers, so uh, that's fine. Black Widow, Emily Black Widow. Da, 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 da. We're gonna leave your Liberty Spikes because that looks pretty cool. Da, 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 da. All right, so uh, two scanners, one mimic uh, kit, and all that. Yeah, we'll keep you on that. You can wear that. And then another utility item. Uh, let's go with Venom rounds. That's pretty good. Dude, we're giving Doctor Strange the this right here. Have more health. Okay, so we got Shirinji, Doctor Strange, Livermento, 
Naturalist, Ninjineer, and Black Widow as our squad. It's difficult. There's only nine enemies. I think we could do it. I think we can do it. Let's not drink, because we just wait till we hit the launch mission thing, because I always I always sip my water when I have to hit this. Sent word of an alien collaborator moving through this area in an advent transport. Apparently, the loss of this individual would be a serious blow to the aliens, so we're moving in to take care of them. Locate the transport vehicle and neutralize the VIP along with any hostile resistance. They prefer we bring the target in alive, but use whatever means necessary. So, bring the VIP alive, so we'll knock him out and then bring him in. We can do that. We, we haven't killed the VIP yet. So there's no reason to do it now. I want to see if we get that high CPU thing again or not. Because <laughs> it happened yesterday and it actually lagged the video. Uh, like as you can see, the um, the game is loading, which is laggy. Uh, but no. Dude. I'll be honest, like after... This game being out since February, it's still not very well optimized. And that's like ridiculous. It's 2016, this should not be happening. Alright, so don't hit that person and then move them over there. Now we gotta remember there's a gatekeeper in this uh, vicinity somewhere. Um, so that's gonna be interesting. The old gatekeeper. Good copy. Moving on target. Oh, I should have moved him up on the roof is what I should have done. Oh man. I failed. I failed you. Uh let's go ahead and move. I kinda wanna go through this building, but at the same time I don't. But I think going through the building might be pretty good. Let's do it. Got it covered. We have 12 turns to kill nine enemies, grab the VIP, and get all the way over there. So I think it's probably best that we go through, um, that we go through this building here. Because they're right there. They're just like, we just go through the building and they're right there. So probably better that we do that. I don't want to make the mistake I did yesterday where I went the long way around and that almost cost us, but we made it out in 12 turns. It was a real nail biter, as they Good say. Copy. Moving on target. Overwatch. Overwatch. We're not playing Overwatch, we're playing XCOM 2, alright? 